Hello and welcome, this is Ruth and today I'm going to show you through the decorative Christmas bauble die set from Tonic Studios. Now you may have seen a video that I made recently which was with kit number 73 I think it was and it was called Jingle Bells and Baubles. Well the bauble in that kit was similar to this one only smaller so if you even if you want to have a look back at that one I'll link that down below and see I know a lot of you a lot of you have already seen that and uh, this one is actually very similar, but bigger. So let's just have a little look here. The, this one creates a stunning Christmas bauble. So this is the bauble this time and not the bell. The, the kit was the bauble and the bell, just to clarify that. And the approximate finished bauble size is 110 millimeters by 120 by 110 millimeters, which is 4.3 inches by 4.7 inches by 4.3 inches. So that's quite a sizable bauble. Now it's actually really really easy to make up and I can just imagine lots of you making these in the same colour way maybe for your Christmas tree or for a garland across your mantelpiece or whatever but they're really really beautiful as a little gift box and you can open them up you can have a little tying on it or you can have a little magnet and open it up and put a gift inside so it'd be really really lovely for that and there are 36 dies in there so we'll just open it up, have a little look, and then we'll get started. So first of all, you're going to see that there are instructions there, and that's always good. But if you're one of those people who just likes to look at that and see that the cut uh, list is there, and then you can follow along with the video, that's probably why you're here. But the, uh, the written instructions are there as well, if you find that helps you too. But it's very, very simple. But this is the cut list. It'll tell you exactly how many of each pieces that you need to cut out. And there we are. And I've lifted the dies off here. I'm going to put them on top of this white card and we'll just have a little look. You can probably see there I've already been working at it because last night I just got a little chance to have a play with it. And <laughs> it was very enjoyable and I went to bed rather late, but it was fun. So this is the die set. And as I say, it is actually rather similar and it might even be nice to make the two together if you have that kit. But this one is just so big, it's beautiful. There's a large octagon die here and it cuts out um, the smaller octagon in the middle and it's actually got two cutting lines on it so it will cut out this and this and you'll need to cut out four of those for this bobble. Then you have the piece that makes the top, the little hanger piece. These are the side pieces which you will use to uh, actually fold over and make the bobble itself so that cuts out this and then you can add on all the decorative features so there are three different patterns there and if you want to use the same one for the top and bottom you will have to cut that out several times but you could use a different one on the top and bottom and run them through at the same time now you can probably see there I have, <laughs> I've gone for turquoise again so this is ocean blue uh, craft perfect texture weave card and then I have used turquoise lake glitter card and that really reminded me of some of those beautiful old baubles that we used to have at home when I was a child and they had this sort of self-coloured pattern on the top and lots of glitter. So I hope this turns out lovely but in my head it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful if that if it's that colour anyway. There is a large die here that makes the top of a bow and then this is the decorative piece for in there and then these are the tails for the bow. This is a beautiful little tag that goes on to it and then we've got foliage and berries and little pine cone and mistletoe and then the little hanger and the hinge and these little pieces and a beautiful big set of uh, dies to make holly leaves so you can cut out the back panel and that would give you this bit and then this decorative piece on top it's just really beautiful gorgeous big swirl which I have cut out here and that is going to have cut it out in two colors actually the gold and the silver gold and the glitter and that is really beautiful so that can be used singly it can be used snipped you can intertwine them, you can do all sorts of things with those. Really, really beautiful, just for an extra accent on your cards, as well as the bauble. So I think that's about all I need to say about that. I have lots and lots of pieces cut out. Actually, one more thing before I go. Before I go and start making it, you will notice in the die set that we have the piece that makes the side of the bauble. And then we've got this here and when I looked at that just as it fell on my desk from the kit I thought that with a little circle at the top and then pieces from the swirls 
so you could die cut those and make the hair you could do the same thing with this one but I've actually made this little one with the kit and I know lots of people have been in touch and asked if I would show how to do that I don't know if I'll get time to do it on this video because I've got a very busy day at home ahead of me and that might not be possible but if you really want to see how that's done give me a little shout leave a comment down below and let me know and I definitely will come back and show you as soon as possible if you want to make any of those because that's a gorgeous little hanging decoration or whatever or it's just beautiful to put on a card so do let me know about that because I know I can make one with this set as well right I have lots and lots of pieces already cut here as you can see and I'm just about to start putting them together first of all you're going to need to cut eight of these pieces because you'll, you'll need four of them for the top and four of them for the bottom and they're made in exactly the same way so you can go ahead and either assemble them as they are just plain like this but it's a lot easier I think anyway just to do that whenever they're flat like this you can go ahead and decorate them so I have cut out the pieces here and I'll just show you what I've used this die cuts out the outside edge and this then is a little verso die with no die no edges on it so that cuts out the pattern and if you use them both together you'll get this shape now you could actually go ahead and cut this panel into the bobble shapes here and then that would create the pattern through that you could cut this piece with some lovely vellum and back that onto it and you could put a lovely little tea light inside and that would be another look for it you could also have this piece and then back this one with a different colour onto that and then you'd have three layers on here there's lots and lots of different ways of doing it but as I said I have used these two together given me this little shape and then I'm going to glue all of these on here here and here on all of my pieces and then I'll come back burnish all of these little fold lines I've got my little bone folder here and that's very important to have all of those folded back so just take your time when you come to that stage and make sure that you have a really neat little edge across here. Make sure that your glue tabs are folded back very carefully and you, do, you haven't got them sort of sticking out at one edge because that will spoil the end result of it if this just doesn't look neat here. So take your time and do that and all will be lovely. I'm going to add some glue on here and get all of these ready and I'll be back as soon as I do that and then we'll start to assemble it. Once you have all those little panels glued on, you'll need to give this just a slight little curl with a bone folder. So just like that. And it's much easier if you go from the flat edge that's towards you and do this before you fold these back. It's easier. It can actually be done either way, but I'm just showing you that this is easier. And it gives that just a little curl. And then you can go ahead and make sure everything else here is all folded in. Now you can go ahead and join the four of these together and this would be the centre point where you actually glue them all together. So we just put glue on there, out to the edges. It is important to get it as close to the edge as possible. If any comes out after that, just be sure to wipe it off, but do have it quite close out there. And line this up really, really well, just right there. And make sure that it is really perfectly lined up before you move on. Let the glue dry, just let it grab a, a second or two. This Nouveau Adhesive, Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive is absolutely fantastic because it just seems to have the perfect drying time. When that's like that, then you can go ahead and add the next one. Again, out to the edges. Pop that on over the top and press down right around. Make sure it's all in the right place and hold it firmly. And then you can go on to the next one. Now just flip that over and you can go ahead and glue all of these tabs together. So what, what you need to do is just be careful that you've got enough glue on to uh, sort of attach them really well and have it as close out to the edge as you can. And it's pretty straightforward 
you really just hold one against the other. You can get it in behind there. Just hold that together. And then make sure there's not a little gap in between. Like so. And then just move your way up here. And if you leave a second or two in between each one, the glue will be fine and it will just allow you to give that little curve. And then just flip it over and you come to the top. And then you'll be able to put glue on this little tab and that will hold it all together. And then just work your way right around the bauble doing that until you have it all assembled. Leaving these edges flat and just loose like that for the meantime. just fold these pieces back. I think it's just easier to have them out of the road whenever I'm working at them because this hexagon outline die die cut rather is going to get glued onto the undersides of these. These will be just on the top of it here like this. So I put the glue on here and fold that over and then to keep it central and make sure it keeps its shape as I go around I glue this one on and then I come over to this one opposite and then I work my way around it that way and that keeps it all nice and just all in the right place. Now, I also want to remember that I like to have the little magnet closure in this but I don't really like that little gap that you see if you put it there and sort of put the strip over the top of it so I'm going to put my little magnet in below here at this stage and then close it over and you'll not really see it after that. I've already gone ahead as you can see and one I prepared earlier so I have the magnet already in there and I just want to be sure that I'm getting that in the right, the right orientation. So that's that way. I'll put glue on the top of it here. That then will go right in here and that's where it's going to stay. It means that you don't actually see that whenever you um, open the, the box or the little gift box or even whenever it's cl it's closed you, sometimes you see that little gap so I'm just looking for the magnet here and I'm just going to show you how that's going to attach just like that and now I can go ahead and put the rest of the glue on here I've got the little hinge piece and that was cut with this die and I just want to fold that in half and burnish that really really well and I can go to the part that's right opposite the two magnets this piece here and glue that on there and that way then I'll be able to put my hexagon ring on over the top and that will hide this as well This part then goes right over the top of this and hides all of that. So with that one on then I can work out where the little hinge needs to go here because I could just look in here and see the magnet in underneath. Line that up with the magnet there and I know that the hinge has got to go on here. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on there. and attach this hinge to that and then once that glue has grabbed I can put this on over the top and that keeps that all lovely and neat yet again
Next I have taken this die and I've cut that out once and then this one I have cut out twice just like that and then because there are five areas here I've cut this little die out five times and you can see when I turn that over that uh, one has been put on to each of this, those little areas and now I'm just going to do that. And on these ones here with the little glue tabs I just want to glue one in at each side here and the other one over here. When the glue is completely dry and that just, just takes a second or two, you can go ahead and attach this on here. So you can use it on the top or the bottom, but I like to have it hanging from the top there. So we'll just again identify where the back of this is and I'm going to glue it on centrally from here. So I'll take the middle one here, glue that on there and then to each side of that. So rather than put glue on here that I don't need, I'll go ahead and just put the glue on this little area because it will overhang there. This is broader than the, than the little strip that it's going on to here. Then you can go ahead and just put glue on these last pieces here and hold that in place. Now I'm going to make a little hanging piece for the top of this and I have cut out this shape here. So you'll see the die for that in the set and I thought it would be really really lovely in gold and um, this will be fitted on up here. So I have folded all these little pieces over and I'm just going to, actually you can just glue this directly on here but I wanted to make a little base for it first. So I've cut the hexagon shape out here, it's the one with the little slit but it doesn't really matter. I've cut it out uh, with the slit in it for the top. But this little piece is actually just for the base and I'm going to go ahead and put glue on all these little glue tabs here. You don't actually have to do this, you can just go ahead and glue it directly on there but I just thought for a little bit of extra stability that I would do this. Whenever that's all glued together like that then you can go ahead and glue this little tab inside here and because that's mirror card that's going to take a little extra time to, to grab because the glue just wants to slip off that but I actually thought it was worthwhile doing it because I do think mirror card is just the ticket for the top part. Now if you're new to card making or whatever or paper craft at all or even if you're just impatient I wouldn't use the mirror card for that, just go ahead and use some other kind of card and it will certainly go together a lot quicker and you'll not have to fiddle about with holding this until the glue grabs. But I've now cut two of these little pieces out and I'm just going to glue these together by that little top arched part, like that, and then we can slip the bottom parts, up, the bottom of it apart once I get it up through the little slit in here. So that goes like that. And these pieces here don't get glued together at the bottom and you'll be able to slip that up through this here. So I would usually put a pokey tool down in there and open that little gap a bit and that way you can just put this up through here. And again I love the mirror card effect in that but this is going to take a minute or two for, the, uh, for this just to dry on here and you will need a little bit of patience for that. So just put the glue on there and there and fold this back. And now this has got to get attached here and we're going to have the same little hold up here but I think it's worth it. Just put glue along there and 
right the way around and attach this on. The other way of doing that actually I'm just thinking is I could have put another one of those card uh, pieces on and made this into a solid little shape and then added this on top but I'm going to go ahead just like this and set this aside. I'll hold on to it for a moment or two until it starts to grab and then I'll set it aside and then after that I can come back and glue this directly onto the top of the bobble. I've gone ahead and prepared some little bits of the bow so I have taken this die and I've used that the outer one has cut this shape and then I've used the pieces inside to cut the lovely glitter card. I've done that twice and then I've used the dies for the tails in exactly the same way there and you can see here I'm just going to give these a little fold or a little mould whatever you call it with my little bone folder and then I can go ahead and glue this piece together here and then fold everything back in after that. Now all I need to do is turn this over and fold those little pieces in here so give them a really really good curl so that they don't bend and have a fold in them. Just make them a bit more pliable because the last thing you want to do is have a crease in them. So if necessary another little fold like that and then we'll put glue on those end pieces and fold them right over and glue those pieces into the centre like this. glued the bottom tabs down as well and I'm just holding that in place with my bone folder because there's quite a lot just resting on that one little glue area there and whenever that's ready I can go ahead with this little piece and put that right over here glue it on the back and there you are and you can glue the tails on right there and it makes a really beautiful bow You'll see here I've put some masking tape onto that just to hold it because it does take a while for that glue to grab especially on the mirror card but I want to go ahead with this so I have got the front here this is the front area and I want to glue this bow right on there oh gosh that bow looks beautiful doesn't it really really lovely so once I get the, the bow on there I'll be able to go ahead and uh, attach in lots of the other bits and pieces that I've cut out I've got some foliage, different colours, and then I've got the holly, as I said earlier. Oh, <laughs> the holly there, and I've got the glitter card, which I'm going to back onto the mirror card, and I'm going to attach all of this onto the top, and the little foliage and pieces coming out from there. But because this is all turquoise and whatnot, I want to bring a bit of that gold in, so I'll be putting the gold first, and then some of the other stuff over the top of that just to break the area up a little bit. I've just taken a little dish and really a little round one but I have, have lots of those little hard ones just because I love that shape but I set that in there and that just keeps it from rocking about while I glue the rest of these pieces in. It's really really handy. I've actually taken the little top part off that so that it's flat in that area and then it doesn't have the little hanging piece and I'm just going to glue that onto the back there as well. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? I really really love that. And the pop of gold really just sets that off too but obviously that's my favourite colour. So I uh, think that on the inside here it would be really really beautiful if you lined it. Now I don't actually have time to do that today but 
I'm actually going to pop up a few photographs next just to show you the one from the kit because it's so similar although it's smaller that I would like you to see how I have lined it and also how that I have used the base and the hinge of the kit and made a little flat box uh, without the top of the bauble on it because I think this one could be adapted to do the same thing. But wouldn't that whole top area look absolutely beautiful even on a gift box on a present that you were going to give to someone just as a real beautiful embellishment it would be absolutely gorgeous on a card and obviously then we've got our other little things here like the little fairy that could be made and in the last in the kit one I have actually used the holly leaves as well just to show you uh, use them in red to make a poinsettia So there's lots and lots of different ways you could do this, but I'm absolutely delighted with how that has turned out and I'm not going to part with that. <laughs> Although there's plenty of room in it for lots of things, but I have to tell you a little thing that I had in mind that I was definitely for doing whenever I started this video, but I'm really, really pushed for time today, as I said. But I thought that this would be beautiful if you opened that up and there was a surprise little scene inside. So you'd line the top and then in here, maybe even just part of the way up, as I've done in one of the other ones. Uh, you would put like a little nativity scene or something like that, or even the little angel or something just setting up three dimensional in there. And it would be a beautiful little scene and a little surprise when you open that up. So I'm going to have to leave that one to your own imagination this time and see if you can work that one out. But do let me know if you have and let me know what you like about this one and what you would have done differently. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget my affiliate links will be down below. Also, don't forget if you haven't already subscribed, I would really, really love you to do that and hit the notification bell and do come back to see more. If you've time, leave me a little comment and don't forget a big thumbs up always helps my channel. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye bye.